Hey little sloths, it's Nikocado Avocado. I'm back home. Shoopy-doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shoopy-doo, I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy cause we're eating for the first time. Arby's, well not me, my brother, my little brother, technically he's my brother-in-law, but in the title, there's not enough space for in-law, it's gonna be, it's gonna look too weird, so we're just gonna call him my brother. My brother's first time tries Arby's for the first time. <gasps> so follow my Instagram at Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. So I got lots of stuff, they ran out of ham, and they ran out of onion rings, I was really upset. It's like 9 p.m. <laughs> This chair's for him. Let me get everything set up. So today I went out with Orlin to Bed Bath and & Beyond and we had to um, get some bedding for a, a special friend that's gonna be visiting us soon. They barely filled this up. What the act? what the actual? Don't worry, we're gonna make it look, look really pretty for the thumbnail. So that's what we did all day with this. Curly fries. Then we have potato wedges. And then we have mozzarella sticks. No, yes, mozzarella sticks. And then we have jalapeno popper bites things. Oh my gosh, I hope this is enough food for both of us. Because I'm really hungry, I know he's really hungry. Yay, I'm back home. Okay, so the next best thing are these nice little sliders. Spicy buffalo burger sliders. I've had all of this before, but he hasn't had it. So we got two of those. I got something brand new. These are the Oreo Bites. Oreo Bites, wow, look at this. They got a little smash from the, um, from the ranch that they, why would they, oh, whatever. Oreo Bites, that's gonna be interesting. You guys know me, I'm not like, like really, really big on sweets, but he's, he, you know, kids love sweets. Here's our napkins. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. How are you today? Got roast beef sliders. I got lots of sliders, okay? Because they ran out of ham. What is this? This looks like ham. They ran out of something. I ordered the Baconator. No, the roast beef sandwich. Oh, I did get a regular classic cheesy Baconator and we're gonna split that. Actually, I might just let him have it because I've had it before. A cheesy Baconator. Well, it depends. It depends what he likes. And since we're family, we're gonna share the food. So if I bite out of it and he bites out of it, it's okay. That's what family does, you know? So I got the roast beef slide. I got too many sliders. Oh well. Sliders, Arby sauce ranch, barbecue, and honey mustard. And to drink, we have a Dr. Pepper. So grab some food. I'm gonna get this all set up. So um, my brother's in our living room. I'm gonna set this up and get it all ready and then you're gonna meet him. Well, a lot of you guys already know him. I already know who he is, but he's gonna join me again today. And we're gonna see his reaction to all of this because he's never had a lot of this stuff before, so. He's never had Arby's ever, ever. This is his first time. So I'm really excited to see his reaction. I know you are too, so I'm gonna be like, Looking at him the whole time to see his reaction. And grab some food, we're gonna feast together. Yeah, oh, I haven't shaved. I know I looked like a different person. I know, you don't have to tell me. You don't even recognize me. Mm. Press number one in your comment down below if you prefer me shaved. Press number two in your comment down below if you prefer me shaved, shivened, shaved. <laughs> Wait, that's, no. Press number one, Harry. Press number two, shaved. Harry, shaved. Harry shaved, Harry shaved, Harry shaved. One for Harry, shaved for two. <sighs> Am I making sense? I'm hungry, okay. Blood sugar is going dropping by. Bye bye, let me set this up and then we're, we'll begin the show. I'm so happy you're here, let's go. Hey guys. Hi guys. It's Angel. Hi. My little brother-in-law who's freezing right now. But so cold outside. Yeah, Florida's very cold. And there was a mosquito in my room, even though it's so cold here. There's tons of mosquitoes outside. That's ridiculous, it's so cold. But anyways, um, this is Angel's first time having Arby's. Arby's. Are you excited? Yes. What do you look forward to the most? Everything. Everything? Okay, so he eats everything, and we're gonna be sharing. So, let's just go. Let's, cheers, this is my water. And there's Dr. Pepper in there. Cheers. Here we go. I'm excited. So good. So what do you want to have first? Let's have... These are the appetizers. Why don't you try the potato wedges and all this stuff. Sure. So these are jalapeno bites. You can mm -hmm. take one. And just help yourself to anything. These are mozzarella sticks. 
Mm. What do you think? You like spicy food though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, here are our dipping sauces. There's a barbecue for you. Here's some leftover Chick-fil-A sauce, because I love Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. This is honey mustard, and then a ranch. So you can dip anything in those. They look so good. So try mozzarella steak, they're right here. Mozzarella steak? Mm -hmm. They can give me marinara sauce. Oh! <gasps> mmm. They like put a, a special little cream in there and it's so good. That, that's cheese. It is? Yeah. No wonder it's so good. Yes, I love cheese. I love cheese. Do you know, do you know my I love cheese song? Mm hmm Yeah? Mmm. Mmm. They put cream inside this. That's sour cream, I think. Mm-hmm. Inside the jalapeno bites. Mmm. And then we have curly fries over here. Take whatever you want. They look good. Yeah. So how's life been for you, little brother? Very, very good. You know? Mm -hmm. I love his clothes. Every time he visits, I see his clothes and I'm like, that's nice shirt, that's nice. Oh, I love these pants. Yes. He wears a lot of Under Armour. I love your clothes. Thank you. I wear a lot of Walmart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but I love his clothes so much. What size shoe do you wear? Eleven. I know, I'm 11 and a half slash 12, so he's he's only 12, and he like, he's like, looks like he's 16, and he's like almost my size. You're, you grew really fast. Mmm. Those are good. Okay, so these are all the burger sliders. So they ran out of the roast, no, the ham. So I just got a bunch of sliders of all different flavors so you can try them all. So this is spicy um, buffalo, mm -hmm. and this is roast beef, and that's also roast beef. They, don't, they gave me one ham and then they ran out, so you can have the ham. I wanna see you try the ham one. Mm -hmm. It's ham and cheese, and I'll, ha I'll have the spicy buffalo. Check this out. Oh, can, probably can't see because of the lighting. Look at that. Look at this. <gasps> Oh. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try with this Arby sauce. Oh yeah, let's try the Arby sauce. I forget what the Arby sauce is. So this is spicy. How's that? Good? Yes. Oh, Arby sauce looks spicy. We'll have to see. Well, it's red, so I'm guessing that's spicy. Mmm. Sweet. Is it spicy? Mm -mm. It's both sweet and spicy. I don't know why I think it's spicy, because the burger's spicy. <laughs> the chicken sandwich, I mean. So it's just a sweet sauce? So to make my thumbnail, I was putting my perfume here to like elevate it. And I got a flashback to before I went to Ain uh not Angel, um uh, before I went to a uh Asia, I went to their side of Florida and I stopped by because you know I was doing my, my issues with Orland and I wasn't sure where we were as a relationship. And I stopped by because I got a flight to Asia and um I actually stayed with him and his mom. And before I went to Asia, I really needed perfume to wear there because I'm like, oh gosh, it's really hot. I don't want to smell. And I was like, okay, I have like two days before my flight. And I went all shopping around, couldn't find anything. Can you believe it? Well, see, I was on like a very strict budget back then. So I was going to Ross and um, where else did you, where did I go? I don't even know if you came with me. The point is I couldn't find any perfume right away. And then Angel had some uh, cologne. He's like, oh, I have some, just take mine. I was like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I was like... Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. He's like, no, just take it, just take it. I, he said, I have so many. And I'm like, okay. 
And I'll never forget how you gave me your cologne for me to go to Asia. And you're a little kid and I'm an adult and I'm the, I'm the one who should be making sure I have my perfume. And that was very nice of you. I'll never forget that. Just for that, I'm gonna buy you new cologne. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna try, let's do this roast beef slider. This one for you? So one for you and one for me. Oh, you have one too? Yeah. Oh, this looks big. So this is beef. So Arby's is known for beef. We love meat. Oh, what's that green stuff? I think yeah. it's, I don't know. Yeah, they, I don't it's know. like a vegetable, I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, it's spicy. Is it? Oh. I just had this uh, spicy chicken one compared to the chicken one, it's not as spicy. Oh, that's really good. Aren't you jealous? Mm-hmm. That's good. I like that one a lot. Mmm. Well, that's spicy. I want to know what you think of this one, because that's spicy too, and I just had that. <clears throat> well, you had a different one? Um, when you were having your ham one, I had this uh, spicy chicken one, but this one's yours. Oh, okay. Now, if you're too full, just tell me. No, I'm hungry. Okay, <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, well, we still have lots of stuff. Good. And here's our dessert, you guys. They're brand new. They're called Oreo Bites. They're little balls, and they're stuffed with cream. Mm, it smells like donuts. Mm. Mm. This is going to be your dessert. I'm gonna have a potato wedge. Do you want a potato wedge? Mm -hmm. Look how so big. big they are. Oops, that one broke off. Look at that. Nice big. So basically hash browns. Hash browns, yeah. I was just gonna say. Mmm. Oh, the Arby sauce is sweet. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I love hush buns. Mm-mm-mm. What do you think so far? It's really good. Yeah? What's your favorite? You have one? Everything. Yeah. Everything? I was telling Orlin, I'm like, there's so many things you haven't had. Have you had, um, have you had Popeye's chicken? Never. Never? I have, always wanted to go there. Really? Yeah. Have you had, hmm, what else? What do I eat? I eat a lot of, you've had Burger King before? Yeah. McDonald's? Yeah. <clears throat> have you had Wendy's? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Taco Bell? <gasps> yeah. But you've never had Chick-fil-A? Never. You've never had, I don't know, where are some things that you see on YouTube that you really want, but it's too far away, or it's expensive, or... in and out in and out Oh, they don't have them here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or Shake Shack. Have you had Shake Shack? Never. Oh, they have Shake Shack here. Uh, Wingstop? Never. Never? I know you've never had Jollibee, because they don't have them in Florida. Yeah. That's my favorite. Oh, I love Jollibee. Okay, so don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll get you lots of stuff. Okay, this is classic beef and cheddar. This is something that's classic at Arby's. I'm gonna open it up for you. Oh, if you need napkins, uh, I'll put some for there. Just letting you know. <gasps> oh my. Look at this, look at that bun. Looks really well seasoned. Mmm. Mm. 
All right. Hello from the library. I have a special announcement for you guys. My sloths that are student sloths, if you guys are having difficulty with your essays, writing your homework, and getting your work out, there's a service that will help you. It's a professional essay writing service. There it is. I flashed it on the screen for you. Check it out. It's completely confidential, and it's plagiarism free. So see if it's right for you, and enjoy the rest of my show. Okay, so it has beef and cheddar cheese. So... For me? Uh, for you. Thank I've you. had them before. It's like a hamburger, but beef and cheese. Yeah. You like it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did I squirt on you? Mm -mm. Okay, good. <laughs> I saw like liquid fly out. Do you like that better or not as much as the little sliders? They're all good. Really? Mm hmm. So you're going to be easy to do mukbangs with because you like everything. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, this is a little spicy. I think they're little jalapenos. I think they are. Yeah. They're a little spicy. Ooh. Or did you notice it when you were eating it? No, because I just had this thing. This oh. is all, this is for you too. <clears throat> and that that was really that's spicier than that. So I didn't even I haven't noticed. My mouth was already spicy. You've had checkers before, right? Yes. Yeah. I love Checkers French fries. Just not their wings. Their wings are very bad. <laughs> yeah. Pizza Hut, you've had? Or no? Yes. Yeah. You've had all the pizza places? Domino's? Mm. Papa John's? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. All right. Well, maybe you'll have to go on a trip with me to the West Coast because that's where they have in and out they have Jollibee. They have, what's on the West Coast that I can't get here? <gasps> Jack in the Box. Yes. Yeah, Jack in the Box. And they have Jollibee, Jack in the Box, in and out I'm trying to think. I think Wingstop is more popular there. Mm -hmm. There, You can find Wingstop a lot easier, I think, on the West Coast. I know I'm missing something that they have that you can't get over here. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, it's all a blur. <laughs> but you miss it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. My day is so much happier now. How about yours? Mm. My day was fun. I was just very busy. I was getting so hungry, but then once you have food, the day just gets so much better. <sighs> Okay. Did you eat it all? Good boy. Okay, so now he's gonna try spicy chicken. What's this called? It's called buffalo. Oh, spicy, mm, spicy buffalo slider. I heard that name. I'm like, oh no. Mm. Don't worry, it's not spicy. Spicy like the nuclear sauce or something. Okay, let's go. You like spicy, I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. You like it? You might need ranch if you want to cool cool down with it. We, oh, we both ate our ranches. Did you have a? Yeah, Oh, this is mine, and that's yours. Oh. Well, this is Chick Fil A sauce. If you want to add that, if you want more ranch, I have more. Do you want more ranch? Mm. Yeah. Delicious. Let's ring our bell for Orland. Ding 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 ding. I'm gonna get a bell. Because there's see times like this. I know it sounds funny. Times like this where I'm like, oh, I forgot this. Oh, I need a fork, and I don't want to shut off the thing. So I just want to get a bell that I just for Orland to come running in. <laughs> Hey, Orlin? Yeah? Can you come here? He'll bring us our ranch. Okay. <laughs> what? He loves his job. Can you bring ranch, please? Ranch? Thank you. <gasps> okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is spicy. Yeah, I know. So we'll get you ranch to put on top. Okay, so we've had this, we've had this. We've had this. I have mine right here. Huh? I'm under it. What? Oh, you're okay. Yeah. yeah. We've had this. We've had fries. Did we eat them? I guess we did. Thank you. Ooh, Zaxby's. Yeah, just one. Zaxby's. Oh, you've never had Zaxby's? No. 
I had Zaxby's like a couple days ago. You guys have to check out that video. It was very good. One of my favorite chicken restaurants. Really? Very, very good. Very, 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 very good. Better than Buffalo Wings? And uh, wings, yes. I think so. Yeah. What about Look how big this is. What other sauces? It shut off, but he was just, excuse me, asking about Zaxby's ch chicken. Because I said this is from Zaxby's, this ranch. And I said, um, here, put that there. Um, yeah, they put their sauce, their spicy sauce, on the actual chicken. So it's made with it. You can get it on the side, but most people don't. So they're already, like, saucy. And I got a lot of spicy flavors. You know? I love Zaxby's now. It is so good. <gasps> it's the first time you had it, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never even knew Zaxby's till one of my friends told me. I feel like I should have gotten another, like, so they have beef and cheddar. I should have got <gasps> the meat mountain. Mm. Oh my. I already know what's going to happen next. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of meat. Especially for your first time, you should have had more classics. But they ran out of ham, so all the ham sandwiches. That little slider was the last one, so. For you, for me. So we're going to finish up our appetizers here, and then we'll do a dessert. The last one. The last one. Mm. It flew right by. Yes, it did. <laughs> That's how I feel when I eat crab legs. Have you had crab legs? <gasps> I'm gonna have to have crab legs with you. They're so cool to open up and wave around, and they're very flavorful. Yeah. But. You'll eat it, take a bite, and then it's all gone. It flies right. It flies right by. I'm gonna try this ranch too. Have you had Olive Garden? Yes. Oh, good. Cool. Hmm. Mm. I'm actually getting full though, so that's good. How about you? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Good. So, Angel, what's your favorite subject in school? Science. Science? Really? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about science? Like, why? Why science? You're learning about, like, uh, genetic, like, modifications, like, uh, uh where, like, how we started and mm -hmm. how we are now. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite one. You mean, like, evolution? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very interesting. I think Orlin told me we came... I know we've come from primates, but all life started from the ocean. And so fish eventually came out and developed feet, and they turned into mammals, which then turned into us. All life started in the ocean. That's what he said. I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> fact check me on that one. Um, that's kind of cool to think about. I personally love stars. I love to, the galaxies mm -hmm. and the nebulous and the Milky Way and the planets. The fact that there's so much life out there. Mm -hmm. You believe in aliens? Some days I do, some, some days. Some days? Oh. Do you not want these or? No, we can have it. Yeah, are you full? No, I, I'm just like. I'm just do you like, just want this? Yes. Okay, let's just have this. Okay. We are gonna do the brand new Oreo, Oreo bites. bites. Alright. Take one. First honors. Ooh, they're so warm. One. They are still warm, wow. Mmm. Mmm, that was good. That was very sweet. Yeah, the middle is filled with cream. Mm hmm. What do you like best? This, this, or this? Everything. Everything? Yes. Okay, well, you can. You have no, no, I'll keep having the fries. Because I want you to be happy. These are good. Yes, they are. Oh. 
Thank you to everyone who followed him on Instagram. How many followers do you have now? 1,700. 1,700? That means you got 1,000 followers. Yes. Because you had like 700 before. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Thank you guys. Wow. How does it feel to have a, a, almost 2,000 followers? Good. Right. You know, you have to post a picture of them. One more. Oh, there's more. Yeah, have them all. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the stuff I ate today. Mm -hmm. What did you have at school? Nothing. I ate lunch. Oh. You like it? Yeah, I'm getting full. Hmm. I don't know, I make a mess too. <laughs> I'm always making a mess. Oh, man, full. Oh, now you're full. Yes. You came over hungry, now you're full. With what? The wedges, the curly fries, the jalapeno cheddar. Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Spicy chicken slider. Spicy chicken. The ham and cheese slider. That's sick stuff. That's the, and then you had a roast beef slider. Mm -hmm, seven. And then you had an entire beef and cheddar sandwich. And then this. That's eight, eight. stuff. And then, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's tough. My brother's gonna explode. <clears throat> All because of Nick's Cato Avocado. Sorry. <sighs> well, you guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Any last words? Make sure to follow us both on Instagram. Mm hmm. Follow well, on Instagram, so. I'm gonna link his in the description box in case you didn't do it the first time around. No. What was your? If you had to choose one thing, they're all so different. That's hard. I couldn't even choose one thing. I can't either. It's just they're all they all go great together. Oh. Okay. Well, we're done. We're done. Yay! Okay, finally. <laughs> Okay, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you ate with us, I hope that you enjoyed your meal as well. And check out his Instagram, Angel G. Mandon. Be nice to my little brother. No haters, go after him. Don't send him weird messages. And, excuse me, um, comment down below what you want to see me eat tomorrow, if I'm still alive. And um, thank you for your time. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Nice. <gasps> we'll be back, Nick. Good, nice and full. Orland said you were so hungry, so I got a lot. Yeah, I didn't eat. I didn't eat at school because I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna have a nice, nice, lunch, nice little lunch, and I'm gonna be full for the rest of the day." Mm. And I come back to this. Mm. Well, are you happy? Yes. Good. Uh, just saying that they designed it so when you put the sauce in, these little lines bring the sauce to the bottom of the dumpling. Mm. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> Angel's mom just picked him up. Bye, bye, Angel. It's nice seeing you. <laughs> They're going back home. He doesn't have school tomorrow, so that's the only reason he came this far. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna have my dumplings because I'm still hungry. I, I was nice, I let him have more food. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm full. Because I keep it, I'm very observant when I club. You know, I'm like, okay, they're full, so let me not keep like sh shoving my face. That's rude. So I'm like, oh, I see he's winding down. I'm like, okay, you guys, well, bye bye. You know, oh yeah, I'm full too. You know, make them feel comfortable. <laughs> so, but I'm still hungry, so. There's the dumplings. Mm. They look good. They're very good. This is torture for you. No, I'm good. I wonder what flavor they are. Mm, I'll tell you, just wait. I'll tell you exactly what they taste like. I've tried making those shapes and I can't. Support. What the, oh, that's from his drink. <clears throat> they are Beef. Beef. Oh, that's good. I liked the truffle ones in Thailand. Yeah. Do you know they have that restaurant here? It's not a Thailand. Really? That's a worldwide brand. 
Oh, uh, why don't we? Ding Dai Fong. Why don't we never have it? It's probably cheaper here. I know. <laughs> it's so expensive. Mm. It's like $70 for like 10 dumplings. <laughs> Not wrong. How many dumplings? Like what? 20, 30? We paid seventy dollars for like ninety dumplings, not ten. Oh, okay. Is that a good? Point? They round out to like eighty cents each. Okay. And they're place. so tight. They're like this big. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's why you get the ones with meat, so you get fuller faster. We when we went, we did a lot of the vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. vegetarian. Like mostly vegetables and mushrooms. You know, you're just eating nothing but carbs. You're gonna get. You might fill up, but you'll get hungry faster. Look at me butchering this. I'm actually just trying to spread the sauce around, but also trying to pick it up. <sighs> Look how perfect they are. They are. Are you going to tell them where you got them from? <laughs> Costco. <laughs> Costco is the best food. These are the same ones I got when I went to my parents' house. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah. They, they look better than any restaurant we've had. Better? Well, just about the same. The shape, the... They look like... Get the soy sauce. They look perfect. They have a little leaf underneath. Have you noticed? They're beautiful. Yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> I'm so mean. Have you ever done this? What? With your boyfriend or girlfriend? What? I'm talking to them. Like, if they ever sit down and their boyfriend's on a diet and they're like, Hey, honey, how was work? Mm, don't mind me. This <laughs> Cheeto is really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's so mean, but it's kind of fun. You've done it to me when I'm on my diets. What do I do? Eat, eat a delicious cantaloupe in front of you? <laughs> no, you used to have, like... What would I have? You would eat ramen when I was trying to take ramen out. Man. Oh, yeah, ramen. You'd be like, Nick, oh, this one's so good. I'd be like, I'm literally trying to be anti-ramen right now. <laughs> they used to tell me to eat it in front of you. That's the thing. You used to get off to it. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> on my diet, when he was not on his diet... I would ask him, honey, can you make some really cheesy ramen and eat it in front of me? I know that sounds perverted. He would like go like this, be like, mmm. And I'd be like this, like a puppy. It's like, yeah, yeah, add more sauce to that. Oh, yeah. Can I add some butter, please? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Literally. So now I understand why people watch me eat food. I see all the comments. Nick, I'm on a diet. People tell me that they've lost up to 50 pounds because of me. Oh wow. I've gotten letters, emails, people in the comments say, I've lost a hundred, well, maybe not a hundred, but I've lost a significant amount of fat because I watched Nick Akato eat the fat and I get, it helps with me staying on my diet. See, when Orland did, it didn't help with me staying on my diet. I, I caved in and binged. <laughs> Are you full now? Every time. Hmm? Are you full? You tell me. You're still hungry. Orlin can always tell looking at me. He's like, you're still, you're still, you're still pale. He's like, I see it in your eyes to start moving a lot. <laughs> Am I full? No. They bring you a taco. Yeah, bring me the Mexican food from yesterday. Yeah. Please. Oh, you're so sexy. Mm. Okay. Good, we can chit chat. I feel like I'm full, but I'm not. I know I'm not. Bring me, um, everything. <laughs> okay, shh. I wish Angel lived closer to me. I would have him here like every day. He's so nice and polite, but he's on the opposite end of Florida and it's like a two and a half hour drive. So maybe three. Well, depends who's driving. If she's driving, three and a half. <laughs> shh. I don't mean that in a mean way, but some drivers are like very snail paced. Yeah. yeah, but they've been so helpful. Not, well, him, I guess, but his, uh, Orland's mom, Angel's mother. They're brothers, they're the mom. <clears throat> Excuse me, she's been helping us move in, get everything situated. Um, I borrowed her car for like a week when I first arrived here. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to talk about? I don't know. I'm exhausted. Oh, but I do have a surprise for you guys. Oh, this smells so good. Can I just smell it? Okay, want to hear something very weird about me? Dolce Gabbana, the one. This here is perfume for men. There it is. Now, 
When I smell perfume, I love perfume. People are always asking, Nick, if you didn't do YouTube, what would you do? I would work at a perfume, like high-end, high-end, like, what was that one that I went to in Singapore? They only had like five boutiques in the world. Paris, London, New York, Singapore. What was the, f it doesn't matter. I don't work for them. I don't need to know everything, all their locations. It was called John Hamilton, John, John Jackson, or something. Jean, Jean, they're from France. Basically like a little thing, like perfume, the size of this dipping container would be like $200. Comes from ex extracts. I know, Nick, it's not going to work in a perfume boutique if you can't even say the words correctly. Listen, I would learn because I love, I love smells. This is what happens to me. Like, if I'm editing my video and I need to concentrate and I'm maybe not feeling as inspired or something, I'll grab my perfume, open it up, sniff it, close my eyes. This makes, this one's called The One by Dolce & Gabbana. This is my favorite. Unfortunately, I feel like it smells better on other people than myself. Like, I don't think I smell that good wearing it, but I love when he wears it. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's musky and citrus. Mm. You've had American mm. food. <laughs> That's Miss Kitty. <laughs> when we try to cut her nails. <laughs> Someone left a comment like that when I was, um... <laughs> I feel better with a hat on. Why? You're like, you're my, so cute. My effed up hair. Anyways, I just take a sniff of it. It makes me think of businessmen. It makes me think of nice leather shoes. It makes me think of fancy, expensive car. It makes me think of they have money, success, power, fortune. Daddies. Daddies. I smell this and all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, productive. I, I want to be rich and <gasps> successful too. Like some perfumes just make me think of that. Yeah. I was saying like if I didn't do YouTube, I know I would want to play violin, but you make no money doing that. So I would probably work in a high-end uh, perfume parlor. You were in a $3 budget when you were a musician. Huh? Weren't you in a $3 budget? $3, $3 no, budget? well, more, more, including the train transportation, I spent no, no more than $5 a day. And that was still hard <laughs> for me. I was very like struggling. Anyways, I don't know how much they make per hour in the stores. Twenty-five dollars an hour. I don't know. I would. I feel like I would have joy in that though. Something that I would. You know, they don't pay that well. Maybe not like Macy's. I'm talking about like some like boutique place. Because oh, okay. my first job was in a high-end women's boutique, mm -hmm. and I knew nothing about anything. I was fresh on the job, and they started me at eleven dollars an hour. That's really good. And it would go up fifty cents per year. What is this? Oh, is this that tostada? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like it's it. It's flavorless. It's a little softada now. So, here, we're gonna... A softada. We're gonna guide it into the Arby's bowl. <laughs> oh. You guided it to your shirt. <laughs> Ooh! <coughs> Spicy! Mmm. <laughs> Spicy? Spicy. Mmm. <laughs> is, is it better now that it's... Been microwaved. Huh? Is it better microwave? It's spicy. But I need something. Oh. Chicken, that will fill you up. Oh, you have all these delicious sauces. Chick fil A! <laughs> oh, my Mexican leftovers. I wonder if the Chick fil A CEO hates you because you're gay. <clears throat> I think he passed away. The one who made that statement. Oh, really? He's gone. Okay. But people still think about it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, remember that I don't know thing. if they officially retracted it. You know, people should come out and say, no, we don't believe that now anymore. You know, it'll make people get over it because people still talk about it. Yeah. They're anti-LGBT. And I've read, though, that Chick-fil-A does donate a lot of money to, like, anti-gay therapies and stuff or oh my. conversions. That's just messed up. What a waste of money. Instead of, hey, if you want to be something charitable, think about the people who don't have homes, who are starving, who are uneducated and educated and cannot read. Invest in the schools. Our public schools suck compared to Japan. They suck compared to um, Germany. We're very bad in education compared to the other Western civilized nations. But no, we got to make people decide what makes their penis go up and down. That's what that matters more. That's a big mouthful, honey. Hmm. <laughs> You're eating with your hands like an Ethiopian dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how we used to eat in Ethiopia with our hands. He's been to Ethiopia a bunch of times. 
So don't be, he's not being like judgmental. No, that's how you eat there. When I was there, and you eat injera with your hands. Just your right hand, though, not your left hand. How do they say injera? Injera. Injera. <laughs> I love Ethiopian food. My favorite was tagavino. That was so good. And shiro. Shiro was good. Shiro? Oh, you told me about shiro. It was so good. It was so good. It was just like spicy beans with a lot of like fried onion. So good. It made you very sick though. <gasps> yes. When I came back from that trip, very he was sick. a he was a wreck. Yeah, I have I can't eat beans. You can't eat a lot of stuff. So yeah. it's not that their food was bad, it was that it didn't work for him. My poor baby. <laughs> I love Ethiopia. Why are you looking at me like that? Do I fit on my mouth? No. No, you're looking at me like mm. Well your eyes went down below, so not that far. <laughs> He's wearing pants, don't worry. Yeah. Sometimes he's not, though. You never know. Yeah, sometimes in these mukbangs, I'm in underwear. Uh -huh. Have I ever been butt naked? A few times. The noodle few ones times. in Colombia, yeah. A few times. <laughs> I would have spicy noodles naked. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was so hot, I had to let it ven ventilate somewhere. <laughs> Ventilation. <laughs> you guys should comment down below which video you think he was naked in. <laughs> which particular video. <laughs> I'm sure I told them. I don't care. <clears throat> Or maybe I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he ate a whole big burger on his own. Angel, what is it? He had. I'll show you. He says it was it was his first time having a real. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not complaining. I'm just like proud of him, you know. <laughs> How do you like Arby's food? Is it good? It's. Hmm. Good. It looks very meaty. It's very meaty. Yeah, right. Well, if you get the roast beef or the... It's like deli. It's like sliced deli. Sliced slice ham, sliced beef on fast food. Nice, nice squishy buns. I really like... And then they have, you know, like what you can get at other fast food restaurants. You, they have mozzarella sticks. They have curly fries. They have... Are you listening to me? Sorry, I'm distracted by your veins. <laughs> My veins? Does that mean I'm hungry still? <laughs> no, I've never seen them like that. They're popping out. I <laughs> avoid the sun like crazy. <laughs> You're kind of see-through now. <laughs> I, I, I'm very... Hey, you guys didn't help me in the comments. We're not going to do it now because we're at the end of the video. I need... A sunscreen for my face. I already told you which one to get. The sink-based one. The one I have. I carry it in my purse all the time. The Columbia one? No, 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 I got it here from Walmart. It's, uh... It's but a, is it for your face? Cause they for make, your whole body, yeah. Oh, no, see, because... Mm -hmm. Have you ever put lotion on your face, like sunscreen? Yeah, I It makes it suffocating, like, you can't breathe. It feels heavy, it, you get oily. Can't relate. Makes, makes um, acne. Can't relate. Makes you, like... <laughs> like, there's a film, like, oh, I'm suffocating. It's greasy. Greasy. It is so they make crazy, face yeah. ones that don't do that but still give you the protection and I'm I'm on a quest to find a few to try. Yeah. I've read that the Japanese ones and the Kore South Korean ones are like the best for your face. Mm -hmm. They do a good job over there. Yeah. But I haven't ordered them yet. I used just the uh, zinc oxide one. No, that's good. I'm just saying for my face. Did you put it on your face or just your arms? I put it on my whole body. Oh, so like your anything face? Anything that gets on, yeah. Anything that gets on. And did you feel greasy? I mean, yeah. Oh. See, I don't. I want to be able to wear it and not feel greasy. Well, I just wear it so I don't have skin cancer. <laughs> I know. Well, me too. Well, yeah, but the problem with you is that since you can't decide on which one to get, you won't wear any at all, and then you're gonna get cancer. You should still wear something. I know. No matter what. I know. You know? I know. <laughs> I need to wear it every day, regardless. Yeah, Florida's tough. The sun here's bad. We know some people here who have turned into raisins, literally. Into raisins. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. The I'm sun. sorry. It's not their fault. They're great people. The it's sun. like, oh my goodness. Stay out the, well, the, sun, the sun, girl. The sun makes you leathery in Florida. <laughs> yes, it's intense. <laughs> it's like a leather purse. <laughs> like a sun-dried raisin. Because <laughs> Florida, it's all like... It's at sea level. Most of it. At sea level. Parts are like 50 feet above sea level, which is nothing. Subtropical, very stale, <laughs> very stale air. <laughs> Humid. The state bird is the mosquito. <laughs> Someone told me that on you now and I love it. Yeah, it's so true though. 
The state bird of Florida is the mosquito. <laughs> it's so true. Oh my god. <laughs> that lime got microwave. No wonder if it's still good. It won't squeeze. <laughs> it's dry. Pretty sure. Yeah, but they didn't do anything to it, right? Just no. Chicken. No, this was, I remember when I had it, it was the least flavorful. Yeah, it looks like it. You know, chickens, if you don't add a lot of seasoning to chicken, just chicken's not really that good. You know, it's not, or, like, it's not like beef. Or salmon. Full of flavor. Salmon's a lot of flavor. Crab legs. I was telling Angel. I've just had the fake <clears throat> crab. And the, and the, that crab you get on the east coast, the, the blue crab. I've had blue crab. I like blue crab. Blue crab. Mm. You've had blue crabs? Mm-hmm. When? Growing up. You no. catch them all. You catch them in Colombia, the Pacific. Oh, they have the blue crabs there? Yeah. Because they come from the Chesapeake They're Bay. They're like this big. Oh, yeah. no. I'm thinking of something else then. Um, well, maybe you're thinking. I don't know. I don't know. They call them haiba. It's like this giant crab. We used to, <coughs> I used to catch it with my sister. We would go we would go into the where the fresh water meets the salt water, and we would start catching like How crabs. big were they? That big? Giant oh, crabs. I don't know. I don't know. They look like blue crabs, but they're just giant. They call them high in Colombia. It might be its own thing. And we would take them to our friend's house and her mother would cook it for us with like tomatoes and garlic and onion. It was really good. Would she put it with coconut milk? I think so. Oh, that's the best way to have seafood, coconut milk. Um, she would also, oh, we would also catch lobster too. How spicy! We used to catch lobsters. They were very abundant. But you don't like lobster, I thought. Mm hmm? I thought you don't like lobster. Growing up, I liked it. We would only go to the coast like three times a year. I think I'm allergic to lobster. Every time I eat it, I f it grosses me. The only time I liked it was at B Love's house. You know, but we used to crack open barnacles on rocks. They look like these white volcanoes. They're really barnacles? Cool. Yeah, what are barnacles. <laughs> look it up. They they actually taste pretty good. I used to eat those. What is it? It looks like a volcano. They're like a white volcano. They grow on rocks and on turtle shells and. I thought those are the things that are on top of humpback whales. Yeah, they also have them. They're alive. You eat those? Wait, they're yeah. living? Yeah. Those little white, they look like, it like looks like that stuff that you seal into the cracks of your windows. Yeah, barnacles. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You put them in the, the window cracks. It's yeah. white, puffy foam that solidifies. We also used to eat They're sleep. living? Yeah. We also Do they move? Or I never like, saw them move. I used to just crack them open. Do they, they have brains, or are they like the? It's like a mollusca. They don't have brains. So it's related to the um, oysters and stuff. Yeah, they have a primitive nervous system. Um, we also used to eat snails, to sea snails. Oh. Yeah, we used to catch these giant conchs. The con you know what a conch is? It's a shell. Yeah, a giant shell. But they have a giant snail inside of it. Oh, yeah, you didn't know that? No, <laughs> I only know what a conch is because I used to play a video game where the game was to take, you had to go find the, the conch. It was an underwater game. Go find the conch, the yeah, giant well, conch, and there was nothing inside of it. We used to go and catch the conch. They, they're by, they were by the coral reef because we're in the Pacific coast. There's a lot mm -hmm. of coral. We used to catch them, which was very easy. We just pick it up, and we'd take them to our friend's mom and she would cook them. She used to um, call it pianguita. She would cook it with a bunch of snails. And we would just eat them fried. And they're really tasty. It's like really good. You would love it. They're very tasty. I kind of got snail is delicious. It's just the idea of eating it. <clears throat> like it took me forever to eat octopus. I was like, ooh. I don't like octopus. Um, I like squid. Squid. Squid mouth is good. Have you had a squid mouth? A mouth? No. Yeah, it's like a. I don't know. If they call it squid mouth in <gasps> Colombia. It's like a little ring. A ring. It's like mm. a ring. It's very chewy and tasty. Mm. Look at me talking about seafood while I'm on, on a melon diet. <laughs> Ew, look at all my oops. <gasps> I, oh, that was my. F <laughs> I'm like falling asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is it when we say goodbye. It won't soak through, right? No, this is plastic. Okay, good. Because I have stuff under here. Ooh, I feel like I could fall asleep now. This, I needed those dumplings. to set up the bed. I know, we went shopping for sheets because. <gasps> We got, we, we were going to treat ourselves to a duvet, goose down, very expensive goose down duvet, and a duvet cover. Because, you know, it's time to treat ourselves. Well, this thing, I don't know if Miss Kitty went in there and made a hole. Probably. Either is our cat, or it just busted from how heavy I am. I don't know. But 
the duvet cover had slits. So it was this, it was this long, right? It had a button, a button, a button, and a button. In between the buttons, it would be an open, an opening, you know? It was like a cloth to cover up the, the feathers. And the feathers, every time I moved, I shifted, I made the bed, I moved the blanket. Feathers would come flying out, like a leaf blower. Went into the air, we were coughing it, and went all over our lamps. It was terrible. And the actual goose down feather, I got the lightest one because I'm a very hot sleeper. When you go into it, it's very soft. It feels luxurious. And then you wake up in the, in the middle of the night and you're sweating because it's so hot. So hot, you guys. So hot. Don't like it. So we had to return it today. Bed, Bath & Beyond. Thank God they have a great return policy. You can return your toenail if you wanted to. They would take it. So we got just a regular <laughs> comforter. Uh, yeah. Why am I talking about this? Oh yeah, we have uh, to make our bed because our bed has nothing bed. on it now. 